So you might be trying to go ahead and go through and use the Smart Switch app on your Android phone for the most part. And I'll show you exactly how to do this. It's very, very basic. Now, it really depends if whether you're sending data or you're receiving data on your specific phone. So let's say I want to go and move some data from my specific, you know, Android phone here, my Pixel, to my Samsung. To do this, what you want to do is you want to install the Samsung Smart Switch app, and you want to go ahead and open it up. Now, in this case, you want to go and click Continue. You're going to allow all the permissions, so just click Continue here. You want to click Allow. It's probably going to take a few seconds, so just click Allow for everything here. And then once it's done, it'll probably tell you like this. I don't even know why. I still need to get permission. Okay, here we go. Let's go and swipe back out. That's another thing. Okay, here we go. And there we go. So now we can go and click Let's Go. And now we can go and choose whether we want to, you know, send it via cable or wireless. In this case, we'll just go and click Wireless. And now it's going to say Get Connected. So now on your other Samsung phone, you want to go ahead and basically go through. And you want to click Receive Data. So now it's going to say Select Source, which is right here. And in this case, we can go and click Get Galaxy or Android. And then it's going to click Wireless. So now we should be able to see this specific Samsung phone come up here. And at this point, all you have to do is just wait until all these devices are connected. Now, once they are connected, all you have to do at this point is go through. And sometimes they won't connect. I guess in this case, they're having some issues. But in this case, all you have to do is then just choose which data from this specific device you want to go ahead and transfer over. And that is all you have to do. Now, if you're having some issues like this, in this case, we're just going to have to connect to Wi-Fi like this. I'll go and click Allow. Now, like I said, if you're having issues, sometimes you just kind of have to let them sit, as you can see. And now, once they are connected, you want to go ahead and let the data transfer. So now you can choose on this specific device what data you want to transfer. So in this case, you can choose everything. You can do just accounts or you can do custom. In this case, if you want everything, you can just choose everything. And then it will tell you it will take about two minutes. And then you can click next and you are good to go. So that is pretty much how you do it. If you click custom, you can customize it a little bit further. But that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.